famous movie quotes. So this is going to be more of a cultural lesson, a casual, fun lesson, which is why I have not shaved. I'm, I'm rocking the stubble right now. But I want to teach you some very famous movie quotes that Americans love to use. And these are quotes that have become very popular over the years that they will be referenced in other movies and TV shows. And people may even use them in, in just general conversation if it's the appropriate context. So I, I will talk to you a little bit about that. Let's begin with our first quote, which is, show me the money. Show me the money. <laughs> and this is a quote from the movie Jerry Maguire. It is a famous football movie, American football movie, from 1996. And he says, show me the money, meaning like, how much will I be paid? Am I going to get paid for this? And how much you need to show me the money? What are you gonna do, Jerry? Show me the money! You had me at hello. This is another famous quote from the same movie, Jerry Maguire. And she says it to Tom Cruise, the main character, at the end of the movie, he comes in and says hello, and then starts talking about why he loves her. And then eventually she says, hey, just stop, you had me at hello. Meaning, you, you don't need to, to say all of those things. As soon as you came in here and said hello, then yes, I, I want to be with you. You had me at hello. <laughs> Hello. So the interesting thing about this quote is that people, you can get a little creative with it. So if somebody's talking about something and then they're trying to sell you on it, uh, something or some idea, you could stop them and say, hey, you know, you don't have to say anymore. You had me at- Excuse me, everyone. Sex! Now that I have your attention. You don't have our attention. Money! I'm listening. You had me at sex. And I must warn you. This is no ordinary ham. It's webbing. It's a mesh of comfort and ease. You had me at comfort. A lot of times I ask, ask you guys, please subscribe to the channel. And I hope that you might be thinking like, Wes, you don't need to say anymore. You had me at subscribe, okay? You're gonna go ahead, subscribe, turn on notifications so that I can become your teacher. My name is Wes, the channel is Interactive English, and that's what it's all about, trying to help you practice and improve your English skills. The next quote that I have for you is a very famous one. It's from an older movie, and that is, here's looking at you, kid. This quote is from a movie classic, Casablanca. And this is Humphrey Bogart's line. He says, here's looking at you, kid, meaning like I'll never forget you. And he actually says it uh, quite a few times throughout the film. Here's looking at you, kid. Here's looking at you, kid. Here's looking at you, kid. Then we have, fasten your seatbelts. It's gonna be a bumpy night. And this quote is originally from the movie All About Eve from 1950. Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy night. And what's really curious about this is that the quote, it's often misquoted. And instead of saying night, people will say ride. Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy ride. And what they're referring to is ride, like could be you're getting into a car or even using ride talking about like a situation that you have to endure and it's going to be difficult. And somebody could say, fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Fasten your seatbelt. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Fasten your seatbelt. It's going to be a bumpy ride. <laughs> Why so serious? <laughs> I, I really can't do a good job. Uh, definitely not as good as Heath Ledger did. He turns to me and he says, why so serious? It was an amazing performance uh, in the movie The Dark Knight when he played that role of the Joker, uh, an, an incredible actor. And I think he, he did such a, a, a wonderful job, like really getting into that character that uh, people really remember that line. It was a little disturbing, a little creepy. Yeah. Why so serious? And then there's this quote. Let's see if you recognize it. All right, all right, all right. 
<laughs> right? This is I'm trying to do my Southern accent a little bit. So this quote comes from the movie Dazed and Confused. I love this movie. The movie came out in 1993, but it's about high school kids in the 70s. And Matthew McConaughey, very famous actor, is the one who says this line. All right, all right, all right. And even though he's been in so many different movies, this this quote is probably what he's most famous for. This is what people remember him saying. All right, all right, all right. Whatever it is we look up to, whatever it is we look forward to, and whoever it is we're chasing, to that I say amen. To that I say all right, all right, all right. And then we have just keep swimming. All right, and I, I say it like that with that, that fist pump because it means never give up. You, you have to keep going, just keep swimming. This quote comes from the film Finding Nemo. Uh, it came out in 2003, and it's about a clownfish who is searching for his lost son, Nemo. And he has to, to keep looking, just keep swimming. I don't want to know what you got to do. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. And this is actually one of the most famous movie quotes of the 21st century because I, it has that, that really important message. Never give up, just keep swimming. Just keep swimming, keep swimming. Are you not entertained? <laughs> I'm trying to to imitate Russell Crowe. Are you not entertained? It's from the movie Gladiator. It came out in the year 2000. And he says this, uh, are you not entertained? Like trying to shame the audience because this film, Gladiator, it's loosely based on true events that happen within the Roman Empire. And he, he would fight for the audience's entertainment and he's a little, He's a little upset when he says this. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? And to follow up on that, one way I think this lesson it can be useful if you want to practice and say these quotes in the exact same way. Shadowing, I think, can really help your speaking fluency because you're trying to say it in the exact same way. Same speed, same intonation, same emphasis and really capture that rhythm and flow. And I think shadowing can be very useful. And with these movie quotes, it can be a lot of fun as well. Here's a good quote. If you want to practice shadowing and say it, my precious, you have to say it like that, my precious. All right. This quote is from the movie Lord of the Rings. And the, the first movie, it's a trilogy, came out in 2001. And it was actually, it's actually based on the, the fantasy books by J.R.R. Tolkien. <laughs> But the movies brought uh, the story to life in a new and unique way, and people really remember this quote, my precious. My precious. And it's become so popular that it's often referenced in other movies and TV shows. My precious. <laughs> my awesome cool movie, my precious. Here is another famous quote from Lord of the Rings. You shall not pass. Right. Again, I'm trying to say it in the same way, but I probably don't sound exactly like Gandalf. You shall not pass. And once again, I, I don't know what it is about Lord of the Rings, but this is a, another quote that is often referenced in other movies and TV shows. You shall not pass. You ain't heard nothing yet. This is the popular catchphrase from the 1927 musical drama, The Jazz Singer. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You ain't heard nothing yet. Wait a minute, I tell you, you ain't heard nothing. And over the years, it kind of changed a little bit. And I think more commonly today, people will say, you ain't seen nothing yet. And this actually comes from the 1974 song by Bachman Turner Overdrive. That's the title of the song, You Ain't Seen Nothing Yet. But, but baby, you just ain't seen nothing yet. I think if people are going to say one of these, they, they will use seen. You ain't seen nothing yet. It means however impressive something may seem, it's going to be overshadowed by what will come. So. I could say like, wow, you, you think these video lessons are impressive and amazing? Well, you ain't seen nothing yet. Just wait for what is to come. That's another reason why you should subscribe.
I'll have what she's having. This is a quote from the movie When Harry Met Sally from 1989. And well, to give you some context, the, the two main characters are sitting in the restaurant, uh, Meg Ryan and Billy Crystal, and she's pretending to, to fake an orgasm. Oh God. Oh. And then some other person in the restaurant, it's not even a main character, says, I'll have what she's having, as though it's the food at the restaurant or the meal that's making her feel this way. I'll have what she's having. And, and even though this quote is said by like some real secondary character, it's become so popular and it's still referenced in movies and TV shows today. Um, I'll have what she's having. I'll have what she's having. I'll have what she's having. If you build it, he will come. <laughs> and I say it like this because it's really like a voice that the main character is hearing in the movie Field of Dreams, which is also from 1989. So Kevin Costner, he hears this voice. If you build it, he will come. If you build it, he will come. It's a great example of the first conditional that you have this condition, if you build it, and then the result in the future, he will come. And spoiler, it's talking about building a baseball field and then the players will come. Like maybe your father will return. All right, sorry if I spoiled it for you. The movie, it's, it's, it's old. You've had plenty of time to watch it. If you build it, he will come. All right, that's it. Huh? Who the f Hopefully you have learned some new quotes that you can now listen for if you're watching a TV show or movie. I told you these quotes are so popular, they will be referenced from time to time. Now, what I'd like you to do, because I love hearing from you, write to me in the comments and tell me what is your favorite movie quote in English and, and what movie is it from? I'd love to hear from you. If you write it, he will come. All right, I can, you can even change these quotes and have a little fun with them. All right, if you write it, then yes, I will come back in the future with a new video lesson, all right? Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. So long.